Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make backup image of your Windows and how to restore your Windows from that image. Basically, the same steps applied in Windows 8 or 7 or 10, only the way you access the feature may different. For example, in Windows 10, to access that feature, you type in the search box Windows 7. And here it is, backup and restore. Well, in Windows 8 or 8.1, from the start screen, you search for Windows 7. And the search in settings, click on Windows 7 file recovery. You will get the same window. However, let's get back to Windows 10. Click on create a system image. Where do you want to save the backup? You have three options, on hard disk, either the same disk or an external one, or to save it on DVD, or on a network drive. Well, it depends on you. For me, I'll save it on hard disk. But as you can see, there is a warning message telling me not to save the image on the same disk that contains the system. That makes sense. It is not recommended to save the image on the partition within the same hard disk. However, for the sake of this tutorial, I'll use it. But for you, use external hard disk. Click on Next. Make sure to have a space in the location you specified more than the space required by the image. Here, the image could take up to 15 GB and the available space 21 GB. That's OK. Now click on Start Backup. Once the backup completed successfully, a pop-up window asking you to create a system repair disk. Basically, in case if you can't boot into your Windows, this tool will help you to troubleshoot and restore your Windows from that image. It's optional, because you can access the repair tools from Windows Installation Media, or the Windows itself. If it is unable to find the error, it will show you the repair tools. Close this window. This is how to create an image of your Windows. Now let's assume that my Windows failed to load and the repair tools failed to fix the error. So it just threw the tools and I had to figure it out. To restart the Windows from the created image, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on System Image Recovery. Select your account and type your account password if you have one. Click Continue. It will automatically detect the image if there is one. Click on Next. Next. Finish. Click on Yes. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.